The main appeal of Fixed Gear is that they are the simplest bike that you could possibly have, making them really reliable, really fun to ride, low maintenance, and also really easy to work on. And even if you're not a mechanically inclined person, they can be the most approachable bike to learn how to work on and fix yourself. So in this episode of 3 Minute Thursday, sponsored by Wobby Cycles, we're gonna walk through some of the tools that you will need in your home toolkit to be a great fixed gear mechanic. Thanks to Wobby for sponsoring 3 Minute Thursday. You can check out other 3 Minute Thursdays where you can learn how to get the most fun out of your bike in 180 seconds or less by clicking the card above or in the description and check them out if you wanna buy a bike. <laughs> The most important tool that you need to have in your toolkit, before we even get to the most important tool, you need to have a toolkit. Something to keep everything organized and put your stuff into. The more organized you are, the better of a bike mechanic you'll be, and the smoother your jobs will go. The most important tool in the toolkit are metric Allen keys. All the bolts on the bike, if it's made in the current century, are going to be metric. By the way, you can find out all the gear that I personally use in the description. I recommend getting ones with an elbow band where they're each individual Allen keys. I find ones that are like this, where they're all in one unit, tend to loosen up over time, get a little dangly and not be as useful to use. These are great for on the road, but these are the way to go when you're at home. To take off the wheels on most fixed gear bikes, you're going to need a 15 millimeter wrench. And chances are, if you're taking the wheels off your bike, you're also going to need tire levers because you got a flat. So this 15 millimeter wrench, cleverly enough, comes with a tire lever at the other end, so it's an all-in-one tool. So because fixed gears are so simple, the most basic things that you're going to do are pump up the tires and clean it. And to pump up the tires, I recommend this Joe Blow floor pump, because it has a great name and it has a gauge that is actually accurate. And to clean your bike, I like to use a bike-specific cleaner. I find that it actually does make a big difference as well as a bike-specific degreaser. Regular degreasers can be harsh on the component's finish. A bike-specific one will be a lot nicer. It also gives them chain loop to keep your drivetrain running silky smooth. And I like to use a brush to clean my drivetrain, as well as a dirty rag for the drivetrain, and then a cleaner rag for the rest of the bike. And if you ever wanna swap out your chain, you're going to need a chain breaker to take it off and to put the new one on. And to swap out your cogs to change gearings, you're going to need a chain whip to pull it off and put it on, as well as a lock ring tool. And for pretty much anything that has threads on your bike and for even some components that don't have threads, you're going to need to grease it so that it doesn't seize up. Flathead and Phillips screwdriver, they come in handy. A big crescent wrench and a little crescent wrench also come in handy. Most fixed gear and single speed bikes come with square taper cranks, which you need this crank puller to take them off. And then get the appropriate bottom bracket tool for what's on your bike and what's going onto your bike. And if you ever decide that you want to run brakes, you're going to need a pair of cable cutters. And lastly, a metric tape measure comes in handy a lot of times if you want to figure out your ideal fit. And depending on the specific components on your bike, you may need some other specific tools. But right here are the essentials that I use a lot. Be sure to check out the rest of our three minute Thursdays by clicking the card above and check out Wobby Cycles linked in the description. If you have any video ideas that would be a great fit for this three minute Thursday series, be sure to let us know in the comments and if enough people like it, we'll make that video. Fixie Fan shouts to Julian Corona, David K, Robbie Undyes, and Colnick, Brandon Black, and Scott Palongi for helping to make these fixed gear videos possible through the support on Patreon. And remember that life is short, but don't make it shorter. So ride your bike every day to be reasonably dangerous.